Hi, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be comparing and analyzing five Malaysian art colleges. Also, I'm only going to be talking about diploma in illustration courses because I've personally been there and it's the one I'm most familiar with. And yeah, I actually went to Design Academy of Art. Uh, it was an okay experience, but I'm not going to talk about it too much in this video because I've already made a video about it. So here are things to consider before selecting your college. First, you need to consider the education part of it. Uh, are you okay with just getting a diploma or do you want a degree? Or do you also want just like an art certificate? These are things you have to figure out. Secondly is the budget. Uh, I actually made a list of all the school's budget here except for the One Academy because they require me to have an interview with them like the other schools I literally just Facebook messaged or I just emailed them about their fees and I don't know I just don't know why the One Academy is making it so hard for me <laughs> but yeah most likely the One Academy is gonna be much much more expensive than all of these schools if anyone watching has been to the One Academy, if you can share, that would be very, very helpful. Moving on, when you're looking at the courses, you might as well also look at alumni's work. You know, what did the graduates move on to doing in their career and all that. Next, you also need to consider if these art colleges provide the scholarship or financial aid that you can maybe apply for. And then you also need to consider transport slash housing. How are you going to get to school? Are you going to drive public transport or are you going to rent a room there? Finally, it's the facilities. Do they have everything you want? You know, do they have good computers and whatnot? These are all, all the things you kind of need to consider before you decide on a college. Now that we have all of these figured out, let's go through the schools together. So here we have the One Academy's website. Honestly, I've never been a fan of it. It's very cluttered and it's mostly more about their lectures being very successful. There's just less about the students here. Let's just move on to the diploma programs and whatnot. Now, I'm only going to be talking about illustration in this video, but here you go. They have, a, they have this course in some way in Penang. Next, let's look at the course structure. All right, let me look at this real quick. Ooh, wow. Okay, so they're much, much more advanced than I thought. They teach you After Effects and Premiere. These are actually just softwares for video editing. So I'm not sure what that really has to do with art and whatnot, but if this is what they require, then yeah. Also, Blender is actually really good, I think, if you are considering making more 3D illustrations. The others look normal. This is pretty much what you're gonna get in any other art colleges. Now, I'm just going to check out their Google Image Classroom for a bit. I've seen this picture before. It's always kind of amazed me. It looks really modern, minimalist very look at all the rich kids i don't know they look kind of rich i'm just gonna say that i'm guessing this is their seminar room looks really chill this one also take these images with a grain of salt we don't know how long ago these images were but yeah this is just to get a feel of what they look like so i'm guessing this is their fine art classroom and this is most likely just like their illustration their illustration classroom they look like a proper school so let's move on to facebook they kind of give me douchebaggy vibes i'm not i'm just gonna say it out loud uh but yeah it's nice to know that on their facebook there's more student artwork i always appreciate when art colleges take out more of the student artwork more than trying to convince you how professional and amazing they are it's like let the student showcase do the talking you know why like why like just show me all your credentials because i literally don't care i wonder if they have reviews let's check out their reviews let's see what people think most likely the reviews are 
like, you know, from their own people and whatnot. Adam Lenin <laughs> doesn't recommend the one. Jeez. Okay, I'm not getting. I'm not going to go through all the reviews, but if you had the time, go through them. If you're really considering the one, Robert Patterson apparently doesn't recommend it as well. But yeah, go check them out. I'm sure you can get a lot of insights from it. Next, we are going to be talking about Design Academy of Art. Already, uh, we are bombarded with 3D animation, which actually looks really amazing. Uh, okay, the core structures, intakes. Uh, these kind of stats I hate, but people like colleges do this to try to prove a point. This is pretty cool. This is like students posing for a lifestyle that you potentially have. It's always nice to visualize from images of what a student like what they look like and see yourself in there maybe. Okay, let's move on to illustration. Year one painting. Yes, this is pretty much what I took. Year three is going to be the shortest year. They actually only have two semesters in year three. They used to have another one for internship, but then they figured out internship is kind of useless, which I'm actually very grateful for that. They don't, uh, they don't tell you the course fees here, but yeah, I had to email them about their course fees. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's look at their classroom. I know what their classroom looks like, but let's show you guys real quick. These are gonna be their new classrooms that they are building in the future. Apparently, they're moving to PJ area. So don't look at these. This is the current ones. The current ones are not bad as well. They're quite spacious, but we always had to fight for like power source because there's so many of us who needs to charge and there's so little power source. Uh, yep. They pretty much look like a proper classroom and they actually use chalkboard. This is the photography studio. I actually really like this studio. I like to hang out in it. Gives you an artsy vibe and whatnot. This is the computer room. I rarely use the computer room. Uh, but yeah, we only use this classroom for the courses. I never went out of my way to use them. Always stick to your laptop, kids. Uh, yep, this is the principal president now that you've got a feel for it let's check out their facebook now the Science academy of art has always been known to be quite chinese and would you would i say it's less english friendly yes from my personal experience in one of the classrooms there was one kid who struggled with understanding chinese and the lecturer literally had someone else having to translate like a student had to translate everything the lecturer said because the lecturer isn't as good in english so that one english kid struggled a lot and yeah i don't know if the situation has improved since then but hopefully it has because i really felt bad for that one english kid let's move on to the reviews real quick let's see what the reviews say Okay, everyone's really positive. I prefer if an art school has like bad reviews and whatnot. It seems more genuine and they can actually work towards being better because of these reviews. But from a personal experience, design is okay. They have all the facilities you need. Although I wish there was more recreational area for when we want to take our lunches or, you know, it's just that there is one recreational area in the school that you can eat, you can do whatever. Actually, you can't eat in there, but people eat in there anyway. But yeah, I wish there was like a canteen and whatnot where people can hang out. Because other than that, people usually just go to the nearby mamak stores or the other restaurants nearby. There's really not much of an area where people can sit and eat and just have fun, you know? That's just my input on design. 
I heard about Classroom before deciding on design and the One Academy. From what you can see, you only need two years to study their diploma. Their course structure is different from the rest of the traditional art colleges because they're mostly more focused on the practical subjects rather than the theories and whatnot. Because with design and the one and maybe MIA, they're more focused towards the theories and stuff. But this one, as you can see, it's very practical. There is also ZBrush and whatnot, card game. Future careers, treating takes in a year, and yeah, they they give me off a vibe that they're very anime. So if you really love anime and you just want to focus on being good at anime art, Classroom Academy is pretty good. And yeah, there's only like two years you need to spend there. So definitely, their spaces are more compact. I think because. Classroom college is just kind of like an office building. It looks very a bit squeezed and whatnot. This is what their building looks like. Let's move on to Facebook. I don't see a lot of student works here for some reason. So it's mostly curated engagement posts. This is what we call engagement posts. These are curated by their own by the college themselves. Not much of a Student work here, which is kind of d disappointing. Uh, some memes, apparently. Jeez. Let's go look at the reviews. Okay. Apparently, this college doesn't have any reviews. They might have taken out the reviews and whatnot. So that's very disappointing as well. Ooh. Okay, this is really cool. It's like, not student showcase, but like something relevant to their college. Okay, I like that. Okay, very minimal designs, very nice. Showcase, mentors, all right. Yeah, so far I really like Undo Academy's websites. It's very clean, very nice, straight to the point. But I know that they don't offer as much courses compared to the other colleges. They only have three courses here. So let's check out the illustration courses. So this is the first year of what you're going to learn and then the second year. So just like Classroom College, Undo Academy only has two years in diploma. Which is nice, you save an extra year. And yeah. I can see some really game concept design that's pretty good. This is very manga illustration, manga, I think this is 3D. Yeah, it's less about anime and more about a variety of things. Of course, going to the next page, you can see it's very anime and whatnot. But I still like that they included some other types of work. Uh, and this is their alumni. And see, they have their course fees here. They're very transparent about it. I like that. So this is their building. Yeah, it's on top of RHB Bank. Okay, this is probably their seminar room. Looks spacious, looks clean. I like that. These are all of you going to apply. <laughs> I see, this is probably the 3D room. Front desk. Looks cool. Looks very cozy. But looks small as well, just like classroom college. There's not many other images. Yeah, looks okay. At least there's space and whatnot, and it's less cramped. Uh, let's move on to the Facebook page. Okay. All right. Workshop. 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 Student work. Uh, student work. That's cool. So. With Undo Academy, it's a mix of student showcase and curated posts, which should be the case, you know. It's like, you don't always have to post student work, but just like, ooh, this is really cool. Ah, I love Zelda. I love Link. I love, ooh, okay. They have an automatic bonus from me just because of Zelda. Jeez, okay. 
uh, yeah, everything looks good, looks dandy. I like that they have student showcase, so you can kind of get to know what you're going to get into. Let's check out their reviews. Ooh, 5 out of 5 from 55 people. That's pretty awesome. It's pretty amazing. You, can, you guys can go through these reviews by yourself, but yeah, that's pretty good ratings. Undo Academy is actually... I've never heard of Undo Academy after I went to Dazain. But right now, I'm looking like really getting into like what they have and whatnot. It's pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Finally, let's move on to MIA. So MIA is the only government art college here. Basically, it's funded by the government. And yeah, they have a lot of courses. That's pretty good. Apply for admission. News. Okay, looks decent. Let's go to Diploma in Illustration. Apparently, they offer certificates and diploma. From what I'm looking at, these are very conceptual and very fine artsy. Less about anime, storybook, 3D. Uh, yeah, storybook, storybook, storybook very storybook okay so from their showcases it's less about anime it's very contemporary and storybook style okay so year one yeah this is for year one oh year two and year three professional business practice <laughs> wow 3d modeling okay that's cool we didn't get 3d modeling in design just so you know but yeah they all look pretty good but i'm kind of like hmm, where are all the anime stuff right it's a bit strange their classroom looks decent i hate these l-shaped tables we had we have these in design in the seminar room yeah we get to do work on them but they're so annoying okay this looks like the library looks decent uh, this is their buildings. Building. The building is quite nice. It looks like it's its own building, which I like. Anyway, let's move on to their Facebook page. I think this is a showcase of an alumni. Okay, alumni. Okay, student life. That's pretty good. Curated <laughs> student life. Huh. There's not much of student showcase here. That's pretty disappointing as well. Well, there are some, but they're mostly alumni. Like, I want to see student showcase from like the students currently studying there. So, yeah, that's a bit disappointing. These are mostly just alumni. Uh, okay, let's see their reviews. Okay, apparently they don't have reviews as well. For Undo Academy, I'm very surprised at how good they look, like with their courses, structure, with their budget as well. They're very decent. The One Academy is always known to be the expensive one. But there are a lot of insane graduates and alumni who have made a career themselves. So I guess it's like if you're willing to pay the money for it, you get to access their amazing facilities. With design, again, it's known for being a kind of a Chinese speaking college. But if you can overlook that, it's actually a really decent college. Design is kind of just like the one academy, but cheaper, I guess. MIA is like the less about anime art. So if that doesn't bother you, you can go to MIA. And classroom college is more towards anime stuff. Less about um, less about conceptual contemporary art stuff. Very very game art anime. And yeah, that's about it for this video. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below if you've been to any of these colleges and you have some juicy gossips you'd like to talk about. But I do just want to say 
if you're going to comment something bad about something, it has to be constructive feedbacks. Hopefully, we can start a meaningful discussion of how these art colleges can change for the better. Yeah, may hopefully this video can also be a safe space in the comment section for you all to discuss about the colleges and your concerns about them, you know? Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to like, subscribe. If you like what I do, feel free to support me on Patreon. I usually post work in progress, illustration downloads, and I also do behind the scenes and shoutouts. Or you can also support me on Coffee. Feel free to check out my comics, links in the description. And till then, I shall see you in the next video. I hate it when they like split their buildings in with other corporates and stuff. I kid you not, one time in design, I was walking at the street and someone pointed to my school and was asking, is this a tuition center? <sighs> Such a yikes moment. But yeah, some colleges when they like mix with other other offices and whatnot it gives off a tuition center vibe. <laughs>